Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not sun, moon, or Venus sign specific. This is going to be for any Libra propensity placement that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, any jewelry seen in the video will all be linked down below on my website. This video or reading, I should say, is aimed for the second week of February. Although time is not linear, we are all on different timelines. This could have happened yesterday, may happen today, may happen tomorrow. I will also pull some oracles at the end just to give you some more guidance for the week. And we are jumping right in. Four cards out. What else do we have for Libra? Second week of February. What do they need to know? Libra. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Ooh. Lots of major arcana. Three out of six major arcana. Some big changes and shifts going on for you, whether externally, physically. Some things are changing up here, and you don't have a choice. Bottom of the deck, your energy coming in strong could also be dealing with someone with heavy um, air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We are also in Aquarius season, so definitely this season could be very significant for you. Definitely some sort of conversation coming here. Somebody speaking their truth. Whether this is you, male or female, it does not matter. Someone is ready to speak their truth here. And they're going to be very clear, very straight to the point. It's definitely going to create clarity. If there was any sort of confusion, which I definitely see there might have been, definitely that's going to be coming to an end. You will get the answers you are looking for in whatever aspect that resonates with you. It could be a job you're waiting to hear you get back from, you know, whatever it is. Definitely some sort of communication, conversation, and... Uh, this season being very relevant for some of you, most of you, it definitely will be love. Definitely be love. Two of Cups underneath the Queen of Swords here. In your past position, we're starting out with two heavy hitters, Major Arcana for Pisces, Moon, and Major Arcana for Aquarius Energy, uh, the Star Card. So definitely could be dealing with another Aquarius. This season could be very significant for you. Uh, Pisces Energy of the Moon. This is um, Secret Emotions is what I'm getting from this secret emotions secret feelings and fears maybe around secret emotions secret feelings there are definitely some fears here somebody has some fears uh could be dealing with another aquarius it could definitely be you that has these fears right needing to heal still from whatever is triggering these fears to come up definitely could be some unknown aspects that are getting ready to be revealed Right. If there's any sort of information that you are needing that is not being revealed, definitely the universe is working to get you the clarity that you need. Right. There's definitely a situation, maybe something you're still hoping for, still wishing for. Star card is also very much wish fulfillment energy. Maybe you're wishing for some sort of clarity. OK, in your present position, five of cups and major arcana for Virgo, the hermit card. So definitely, whatever situation this is, it has been very silent, right? There's someone that is in deep regret here, whether this is you or someone else. Someone is definitely still focused on past hurt, needing to change that perspective with the five energy. And we did see the two of cups underneath the five of uh, the queen of swords. So someone is focused on, on shit that doesn't matter. Shit that don't, that don't make no difference to their future. There's definitely a potential for something here with someone else. Right? Mutual feelings, mutual relationship, mutual love, mutual partnership. But someone is very much hung up on the past. You need to get over that. This could be why this fear energy is here. Someone is triggered to heal from whatever past pain that is stopping them from seeing this Two of Cups energy. And this Virgo energy, if there has been silence, just know that it may have been silent between the two of you or whoever this involves. But within themselves, it's very loud. Right? Universe is screaming here. Inner guidance is trying to kick through. Someone's trying to really get to know themselves. They need to know themselves. Right? But they're going to come out of it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Future energy, Seven of Wands and Emperor energy. Aries energy could be relevant to you. Definitely could be dealing with someone who has a lot of responsibilities. This could be you. Definitely also someone taking action. Right? Standing up for something. Maybe not wanting to lose something here. Maybe this person has fear around whatever this is because there are going to be a lot of people that don't agree with what this person does next. Clearly, this person is in a high position. They have a lot of responsibilities, very controlling energy, definitely controlling of the emotions. This could also be what you're not seeing. All right, definitely could be what you're not seeing. 
someone had to go through get get over some things here two of cups yeah past pain double confirmation with that three of cups definitely someone was hurt extremely bad before definitely could be you as well if this is you release i'm definitely getting an energy of someone needing to release the past because you're always going to create this uh this reality in multiple situations if you don't learn to release right because there's definitely something worth celebrating here after some truth is spoken ace of swords underneath that which is very much a now card too very much a now card from now to virgo season definitely some of you are going to receive the clarity the understanding whatever it is that you don't know you will know and it's going to enable you to move forward into some sort of new cycle work relationship mindset heavy heavy on the mindset and thought pattern definitely could be love for some of you i also see the queen of cups underneath there okay let's get some oracles and see what they have to say for you this week libra what does Libra need to know? Second week of February. I do only take jumpers. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Messages for their greatest and highest good. Definitely someone's not speaking right now. See? Wanted to come out and it went right back in. Hesitant. Very hesitant to uh, express. Someone has a lot of fear around expressing some sort of mutual mutual feelings. Maybe that is one unknown to you, that the, the feelings are mutual, but someone has some healing to do. Definitely could be you. Allowing past transgressions to let you, uh, you know, block you. See things that aren't really there. Trigger fear in you. What do we have for Libra? But there is action going to be taken. That emperor, he gets things done. Okay, Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours, absolutely. Number 16, which is a seven. Two sevens here as well. Jackpot energy, luck and, and, and divine timing, being on your side, abundant energy as well. Play the lotto if that's, the, if that's your thing. But Trust in Divine Detours, definitely, this is what someone is having trouble doing. Trusting in the new because of the way the old, the past thing went. This is kind of what we're all going through right now, right? Someone needs to trust in the new. And hummingbird spirit, be here now. Yeah, definitely. Someone's stuck in the past. Someone's stuck in the past. Definitely double confirmation of communication. Birds are definitely messengers. Someone needs to be in the present moment. What do these have for Libra? Second week of February. What does Libra need to know? Way too many. Libra. One card for Libra, please. Nothing is yet set in stone, definitely. So this could be for you. If you are waiting for someone that is kind of going through some karmic fear right now or karmic energy, clearing karmic energy, this is definitely for you. Don't give up. This definitely Seven of Wands could be for you too. Whatever it is, a job that's not looking like it's going to pan out, it will. There's things that are happening behind the scenes that need to be aligned. Maybe you still have some lessons to learn, internal lessons to learn, some healing to do, some thought patterns that need to be corrected. Nothing is yet set in stone. Anything can happen. This is also very much trust in divine detours as well. This is definitely something new for a lot of you. Definitely being guided to something new. But because of past stuff, no bueno. <laughs> what do we have for Libra? Pleiades, double mission, channeling, uplifting humanity. Yeah, someone needs to ascend. Someone is in the process of ascending. Creating new realities, right? Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Absolutely, you do have guides. You are being aligned with what it is and where it is you're supposed to be. This star energy is giving me very much Aquarius star energy. So definitely this, this season is very pivotal. Very, very pivotal, even though, you know, you don't or may not have Aquarius in your chart. All seasons and all influences of the seasons do affect you. Definitely, definitely, um, yeah, some sort of uh, enlightenment going on here, evolving emotionally, spiritually for someone, which is definitely going to get them on their path. Communication, conversation coming in for you, Libra. 
that is your message. I really do hope that resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.